Oh, the Vortex Club. Still don't know what that it's about. I have a little time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wondering. Oh, okay. I thought that was the end of the episode. So are you going to that vortex? Justin club? always looks stoned. It's probably because yes, Justin is always stoned. I've seen enough of those. Who's this guy? Zach. Hello, Zach. Sup, Max? It's weird to not see you without your camera. I'm always taking pictures with my eyes. I bet. As long as you don't talk to everybody about all that shit with the sext in Victoria. Um, <laughs> uh, it's over. It's over. Just another Blackwell mini drama. You mean stupid shit. Man, I just don't get Victoria. What does she want? Probably for all of us to talk about her. Like now. Then let's not. <laughs> You're pretty smart, Max. See you at the game Friday. Okay. Uh, let's look at this one. Desperate much? We're already here. It said, uh, oh, missing persons poster was over there. That's, I thought it was like a different missing person. Okay. Oh, Samuel. Nah, I can't talk to him. I kind of want to. End of the world. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. No photos, please. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. I do. I'm not anti-soiree. You seem anti-fashion, though. A Vortex Club party has a strict dress code. Do you even have a dress? <laughs> Sorry, but nice try. This girl seems like a really nice person. Alright, let's see here. Try this one again. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Mac. Really? Oh, like you can- Dress code. I'm sure the Vortex Club has a dress code. As you can see, I would need your advice on what to wear. Thanks, Max. I didn't think you noticed high fashion. Tell you what, I'll put you down on the guest list, and before the party, I can give you some tips. Cool. Thanks, Courtney. I'll send you the party info later. Back to the list. I wonder if, like, all these obligations that I'm making actually happen later, like the movies and stuff like that. Trevor surveys his domain. I thought he was a security guard for a second. Oh, look, here's a real one. Excuse me, Mr. Madsen? I know things got a little heated yesterday in Chloe's room. Was that really your reefer? I... I'm just gonna say yes. Yes, it was. You know that marijuana is almost legal in Oregon. I can get it at Blackwell. Are you gonna bust me now, Mr. Madsen? Even I'm not that much of an asshole. And I am sorry about yesterday. I was wrong, but upset. Cannabis is not a big deal to you. But it has been to Chloe. You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. Yeah, you treat her bad. But you treat Kate pretty bad. You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. You know, he actually doesn't seem like that bad of a guy. Oddly enough. Sir? Oh, hello, Max. I hope this isn't about the alleged gun incident. Um, no. No. Never mind. Oh, I didn't mean. Glad to see you weren't about to accuse another student of something or other. Now, if you'll excuse me. Hmm. Maybe I don't want to talk to him. I didn't mean to end the conversation, but obviously it wasn't going to go anywhere anyway. 
Alright. I don't really know where to go to progress here. Maybe this way. Uh, Warren. Sit down, science, bruh. I'm in the sci fi lab now. Okay. I still have time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. I have to score some weed from Nathan. Juliet is laying the smack down on Zachary. Talking about weed or some shit. Hey, look, there was the guy in the bus that I thought was the bus driver. I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. Oh. Why? You don't understand mine. Nobody does. Nobody. Hey, come here. Let's talk. Come on. Stop! Wait. Don't come near me. Okay. Ah, uh, that's not good. What the hell, McDreamy? Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. Yeah. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. Um. I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? My word isn't good enough? <sighs> The one time I choose not to take a picture. God damn it. Always take the shot. My number one rule of photography. And Max, I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? Everybody knows. Everybody knows. That's why I wanted to see you. Kate is being humiliated daily. What if Kate brought this on herself? Really? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Yeah. Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. I miss Rachel too. But think about yourself, Max. Principal Wells told me about what you said happened in the bathroom. Son of a bitch. It did happen. Nathan Prescott had a gun in the girls' bathroom yesterday. This is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. I hope so, Max. But it's easy to point fingers. If Mr. Madsen claims you might be a pot dealer as he did, should I believe him? Listen, should I... Excuse me, Max. Hello? Yes? Uh... Hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. Hmm. Is this the class I want to go into? Is this where Warren is? I thought I was supposed to go hang out with Warren. Oh, there he is. I don't know what to think about all that shit, to be honest. Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look... Thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. Have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. Oh. Let's go with potassium. I'm not sure why you're letting me decide your fate, but go potassium. Huh. Potassium it shall be. This works? You get a free hug. I don't want it. Freaking creep. It's gonna blow up and die. Oh! Weird science. That's not what we're supposed to do, I guess. Good thing I can control time and space. Big brain? Hey, Warren. Maxwell? Asking me. Half daddy. Lots of potassium? <laughs> Why not? I actually think you should use a lot of potassium. I mean, a shitload. Maybe I'll die. See? Look at that smile. You're going to become a scientist yet. Let's do this thing. Oh, God. What have I done? Oh. <laughs> she blinded me with science. <laughs> All right. Let's do it right. It can't be that hard. 
Can I talk to him? There you go. Hey, Warren. Max. Ask. Have. Sodium. I have a vision. Go. Diem. Go. Diem. That's the worst pun I've ever heard. Yet Max has spoken. Sodium it is. I wonder if this is worse. Uh. Damn. Zip. Nothing. Nada. Oh. Was I supposed to do the potassium? No, 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 no. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop. Stop. Stop backing up. How do I turn you off? What is going on? Hey, Warren. I don't ha know what happened. I have that. All right, let's stick with lots of potassium. I actually think. All right, that was great. <laughs> she blinded me with science. And we're done. Oh, so he's still up front. It's like we never had that conversation, right? Sorry to bother. I'm only bo Yep. Yeah. That's no. I. Of course. My work. I just want Always. us to have this conversation. And Max, I assume you know. Uh, what? Yes, she needs. Right. With all. I miss. It. it I... Okay. That was interesting. Damn, Dana. Of course, she'd be modeling with her cleavage. No time to talk, Max. Posing in progress. Let's talk think to Max Victoria. Will be pissed we're sitting at her. Better be quiet, Victoria. We have a master snitch and liar here. And paparazzi. I want that photo whore or I get nasty. Nope. Too late. <laughs> oh, burn. Max is so fearless when she has backup. Right. Can I sit at my table now? Don't get cocky. This isn't over. In fact, shit's just starting, Max. Assholes. Neither of them are very nice. I've determined this. Oh, is this the class when we first started? Oh yeah, it is. It's Jefferson's class. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird. What the fuck? What am I supposed to do? Can I get up? Should I get up? Oh, there's Warren. Cat in a box. What up, Max? Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. I'll we see have a lot to cover today and so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> she not it's cool that Mr. Jefferson published his own little book of photo tips. Not I hate when teachers do Sounds that. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student or a friend. I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. No smartphones in uh, class, Max. Put that away. Fine. Judge. Well, then I'm gonna Usually, do it instead. People need something to judge, so they never take a good look at themselves. We can thank reality TV for some of that. In the end, what? we can only blame ourselves for participating. What? Speaking of participation, there are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest. Nope, not me, nope. Like Max Caulfield, Oh for boy. Who I know can't wait to enter, right? I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying Kiro Skiro. That beautiful I guess word. Kate will miss class now. I'm Shadow worried about her. Such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrasts. 
Although we don't technically see in Monaco. Yo! Oh. Some crazy shit is going down in the girl's dorm! Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen, everybody remain seated. Yeah. That worked. <laughs> Dismissed. Oh, damn. Oh, is the tornado back? It flipped out. I didn't think she was that messed up. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh my god. Who is that up there? Kate. No. Oh. Oh god. I I have to do something now. Oh shit! She oh. can't die. She can't. Okay, let's back it up here. Oh my god. Oh, I can't... I can't... Back up far enough. Oh my god. Not again. Not now. Are you kidding me? I have to try something. I won't be able to rewind again and again. What am I supposed to do? Oh. Oh god, did I just... Oh! I'm. I practically stopped time. I did stop time. Oh shit. She's like. Keep going, Max. Oh. You can do it. Holy shit. Oh, this is so awesome. There's birds in my way. Alright, I'm going this way. Hey, big boob lady. Hi. Oh, man. She's like mid-jump, isn't she, though? Oh, see, look. He does care about her. He's running. He cares. I don't know why he's taking photos of her, though. Damn it. I gotta f talk to this girl? Oh. Yes. Oh god. I knew something like this was gonna happen. Can't even blame her with all the shit she's had to go through. Okay, she's not mid jump. Uh, oh. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not uh, now. It won't work. I don't have any power. Now I have to do this by myself? Oh my Max, seriously, don't come near me. I will jump. Okay, okay. I'm right here. Kate, please. Oh, Max, I know you want to help me. I love that you stepped up to David, but it doesn't matter now. Nothing matters. Um. Uh. These things, like. I don't know. You matter, and not just to me. I do want to believe that. Kate, your life is still yours, and we can get through this together. Let me help. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. Of course I worry. You're my friend, Kate. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. I always feel like you really listen. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. Are you serious? Thank you so much. The fact that you don't care about that video and would come up here to stop me means a lot. Um... I'm gonna say you were drugged. I care about you because I believe you were drugged. We will find out who did this and make them pay. You sound so persuasive, Max. Only... Kate, I believe you. Will you believe me? Please, you don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up. Uh, unless I put myself to sleep. <sighs> then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. Morty on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. 
Oh shit. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Be strong, there are billions of videos, everyone buddy will forget. Um I'm gonna go with the be strong. Kate, this is our chance to beat the bullies. That's the only way we can win against them. Can we really, Max? I don't believe in miracles anymore either. Now I do. You're part of the reason why. If you come down with me, I can tell you more. You're such a good person, Max. Even if you're full of crap. Oh. But I'll come with you. Oh. You're my friend. Forever. Can we hug on it? Oh god. No. Nobody cares about me. Nobody. What the hell? What there was such a reversal there. Um her mother doesn't give a shit about her, right? Oh, her father cares about her. That's right. Kate, I saw that card from your father. You can count on him. He clearly loves you without question. Dad does care, even though I hurt him. He's the only one I know who believes in me. Oh, God. Please do not do it. Okay, good. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. <laughs> sorry. What are you talking about? You saved me from talking in class. <laughs> Wow. This is what makes games like this so crazy. Okay. Now, I know today was difficult for everybody, but I'm so proud of the way Blackwell pulled together to save a young girl's life. Of course, you're quite a hero for getting Kate to come down, Max. I didn't do much. She's modest. Like a real hero. Yeah, real hero. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not, and that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson? I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Does she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. Well, you see, I, um, I had to pause time, and so I paused time and ran up there. And, um, used the knowledge that I gained from pausing time to tell her to stop. Um, Jefferson made her cry. David bullied her. I'm gonna try to get... Nathan in trouble, I think. All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her? <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. Kate was loaded and You're a liar. The field. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her, and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? Hey, that's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. I already have a personal lawyer. Careful, Mr. Prescott. I have been told of this alleged gun incident, and I have to admit that the video in question was sent to me by multiple sources. Including me. And since Mr. Prescott does appear prominently in the video and was responsible for the party, I have no choice but to suspend him until further notice. <laughs> Whatever. See you in court. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and student just tried to kill herself. They don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. 
All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. What? My head is killing me, but I think I can use my power again. Uh, I can change it based on... Um, I can pass the blame to other people. I... I don't think that passing it to Mr. Jefferson would do anything. Um, though, who knows? The game might try to trick you and make you think that he's this great guy. In reality, he's the friggin' one that did everything. But I just want to say that Nathan has, like, scratches on his face. Of course, he's looking the other way, but it kind of looked like he does anyway. Um, let's go back. Actually, let's not go back. I changed my mind. Just keep up what we got going. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. I couldn't even believe it was happening. It was literally slow motion as I grabbed her hand. And then I could feel her grabbing mine. Max, that was the greatest thing I've ever seen, ever. You reached out, she reached out, hugs, tears, applause, like a superhero. Not quite. Look at me, I'm a mess. You're glowing, seriously, a human halo. I'm pretty sure you earned your wings today. I'm still worried about Kate. She did try to kill herself. <laughs> All over a video. Viral is the right word. Like a disease. So you watched it? Just one. And a half times. <laughs> Warren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? I don't know. What the hell is this? Oh, is it snowing again? The oh. weather confirms this weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. That's probably not a good thing. I believe you, Warren. I believe anything this week. I think he's a good guy. I think he can just be a prick sometimes. Doesn't mean he's a terrible person. What the hell is he doing? What the fuck are they doing? That's Mr. Jefferson. They're all connected. I bet you he is a bad guy. You should feel bad. He doesn't give a shit. He could care less. Frank. Frank and his dog. a lot of characters. There's a lot of shit going on. A lot of random things happening. I was gonna ask how she's doing. 
do you, like, hospitalize somebody after that? I mean, there's nothing technically wrong with her. Physically. I hope that's too bad. We can totally figure this out together. Now we're getting lunar eclipses, tornadoes, and snow and 80 degree weather. Oh, look at that, Rachel's. Out of time. All right. I think that's, yeah. I think that's it. That episode was, I think, significantly longer than the other one. Unless it's just because I took more time on it. Um, but I think the last episode was like two hours that I spent. And I think this one we probably are going on three hours. I'm not really sure. I had to kind of break it up, so I don't know. Um, just looking at my recording where we're at but okay i want to read it in this episode this time last time i didn't know about this so you told kate to go to the police uh not a common not a common decision surprisingly you told kate to wait for more proof what proof would we be able to gather necessarily um i think that kate appreciated me um telling her to go to the police you answered kate's call yeah a lot of people did that i think that chloe was just I don't know. She was just being stupid. You didn't try to shoot Frank. That was actually really split. I thought a lot of people were going to try to shoot Frank. I just didn't think that was the smart way to go. A lot of people tried. Well, they tried, so they didn't shoot him. So he didn't. He never would have died. Okay. You couldn't save Kate and you. Sa I. Oh, I didn't realize that she could actually die. Holy shit. A lot of people were able to save her. Most people were. Um, wow, I don't know how that would have changed anything. Or how much it would have changed everything, I mean. Um, you blame Nathan. Yeah, a lot of people did. And a lot of people saved Mr. Jefferson. See what I mean? I, I'm i wondering if Mr. Jefferson is the bad guy here. Um, you watered the plant. A lot of people did that. You didn't help Elisa. I don't know if... I don't remember that. I must have missed that one. You erased the links to Kate's video. A lot of people did that, obviously. You were friendly with Taylor. Wow, that's 50-50 with that. Um, yeah, I was. I went back in time and was friendly with her. I don't know. It might be helpful eventually. Um, you accepted Warren's invitation. A lot of people did that. You wrote a message. Oh, at the, um, the junkyard. Yeah, okay. You didn't tamper with the rail tracks. I guess I didn't know you could. You gained entry into the Vortex Club party. Yeah, I did. I So I guess we'll be doing that later. You didn't help Warren. Oh, <laughs> I thought I did help him because before he was saying it was boring. Okay, and then you told on David to Mr. Jefferson. Yeah, a lot of people did that. Okay. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's the preview. Oh, chaos theory coming May 2015. Is it April? That's only one month away. That's not bad. Cool. All right, guys. Well, that's that's the end of um, episode two of Life is Strange. Um, it's I don't know. I'm as I'm as interested as I was at the end of episode one, which means that they're doing something right because at the end of episode one, I was I don't know. I really liked the game at the end of that too. So they're doing a great job at keeping the the suspense. And honestly, there's only more questions that I have. So I don't know. 
but um, there's a lot of things happening. Uh, I'm really looking forward to episode three. Um, it kind of sucks because before I had episode two um, already waiting for me because I started kind of late. Uh, this time I actually have to wait, but it's only coming in about a month, so hopefully, hopefully more like a few weeks, um, and I will try to post that right when it comes out. Um, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you like this video, uh, please hit the like button. Uh, please subscribe. Thank you so much, and I will see you all in the next video. See you guys.